What it do, y'all? This your boy King Eric the Great coming at y'all with another video. And by now, I know y'all probably heard about New Jack and his unfortunate passing. I can say that I'm very sad about it, but a part of me is numb to it. I'm a little bit not really surprised. I mean, considering the amount of damage that this man done put his body through for the past 25 years for our entertainment. Plus, I knew for the fact that he had health issues aside, like if you look at the Hannibal TV shoot, you could tell that there was something wrong with him then. Even with some of the shoots that he did with certain other podcasts where he wasn't as live and as active as he was. A lot of people say that it was he was off drugs, but I was like, man, it's, it's a lot of that damage is really slowing to kick in on him. Because Jack lived a wild life, man. I mean... Them dudes did, they live life to the extreme, literally, on camera, off camera. And you know what was crazy about New Jack was the simple fact that he was very accessible. I met him once in 99, real cool dude, that I met him, then, you know, I, I chopped it up with him again on MySpace, and I remember him trying to charge me $45 for his shoot, and then I asked him about Paul Heyman, he said, I hope... Paul E. get hit by a truck. <laughs> Him and that bitch motherfucker Ty Gordon. And I was like, okay. Because I asked him about what was his relationship with Paul E. at that time. This was like 2006. And he said, he just sent me a link to the shoot. And he went ahead and just spoke how he felt about it. So I seen him on Facebook again. And I remember when I hit him on the line. To hopefully do an interview with us, do an interview with us. At first, he said, "Yeah, he'll do it." So then I hit him the next day, like, "Yo, we still on?" He's like, "Nah, I don't want to do it no more." And I was like, "Okay, that's all good, bro. It's all good." Cause I wasn't gonna push that line with Jack. <laughs> I won't push that line with Jack at all. But we always remain neutral, man. I remember it's just as recently. I was doing a video for Black Poet, and I wanted to use some of New Jack's highlights to commerce with the song. So I went ahead and put that video together. It was for the Talk Like a Gangster joint that's off the second album of a screwball called Loyalty. So I put it on my Instagram, and he liked it automatically. He shared it in his stories, and he loved it. As a matter of fact, he must have caught wind of what I was saying, what we were saying about Vlad. So he hit my, my line directly. This was like around 4 in the morning on Instagram. And he asked me about what's going on with Vlad. I told him what was going on with Vlad. And he and he told me how Vlad, he was taxing Vlad. I'm going to read y'all some of the stuff he said. He said, hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. I'm going to get it right here. This was pretty funny. I said, so we was talking about Vlad. He said, and I said, you basically gave him short answer interviews, shoot interviews from your interviews for a nice bag. That's good business. These guys go up there on his platform and get nothing. And Jack said, right. I made a lot of money off that motherfucker. He put me over, so I'm cool with him. I thought he was going, we was going to talk about current events and Black Lives Matter shit. But he had the same questions as Dark Side of the Ring, so he it came out stupid. I was going to tell everybody to burn that shit down. If we ain't comfortable, them motherfuckers get me comfortable either. That shit was beautiful. Then he went ahead and said, the reason why I got up there is because I didn't give him shit because my wife told put me down on that. I was trying to be funny, so I put on a suit like I was going to court because I heard about his background. I turned him down at first, but then he came with a heavy bag. She told me I needed to drop one for the culture because he got an all-black audience. So it would make bring more popular more people to me. And it did. And she said he was a culture vulture, so I was rude as fuck. He got short answers that were already out there, and I cashed my checks, so huh, I don't hate him. And then he showed me the, the Farrakhan thing. He said, Man, watch this, bro. This is black poetry. <laughs> Burn that bitch down. But man, man, this was such a total loss, man. I mean, Jack was one of a Last of a dying breed of people that really stood their ground. And one thing I admired about him was he's 
He didn't come crawling to Vince McMahon for a check. He didn't come begging either. Because, see, one thing I did respect, and I took this in light, and when I met one of these execs, I, I follow what he said. When he tried out for the WWE in 2004, and they had a rule where you don't go up to Vince McMahon at all. You don't do it. You don't approach him. If you see him in the wall, just keep walking. New Jack did the opposite. He went ahead and approached him and shook his hand and said, hey, thank you for the trial. And walked off. So that showed me right there. And, and he had Vince just looking at him like he was crazy. So he was fearless and he stood his ground and stood on what he believed in, right or wrong. And he was never apologetic. I never recall New Jack apologizing for anything. So you got to respect the get down, man. But rest in peace, man, to the to the old the, the OG legend, man. You're going to sorely be missed. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for the contributions in the game and the game changing of hardcore wrestling. Rest in peace, homie.